As I remember, Epica has already played in the Czech Republic and even in Zlin, uh, but I think that uh, this is your first appearance at Masters of Rock Festival. How do you like atmosphere? It's the second time we're playing here actually, it's not the first time. And uh, well, the first time we played it was I think two years ago, it was hot as well. And um, I think that was for us one of the hardest festival shows ever because the sun was shining on stage and it was... I was wearing leather pants and I was cursing during the show. I thought, shit, why did I put these on? It was so hot. But uh, the fans are great here. We've had also a club show last year uh, in Prague. And um, I wanted to see a little bit more of Prague because I heard it's one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. But I had only half an hour. So right before the show, I ran into the city with my camera, like for half an hour, running, running, making photos because I, I would have loved to see more of Prague and travel around here in Czech Republic, but uh, we've got to work, so... But that's why I like these festivals. You can enjoy nature a little bit and combine business with pleasure. Um, I have read somewhere that every band member describes your music a bit differently, uh, so what is your point of view? I always say it's like it's symphonic metal. Um, since we have so many elements in the music, it depends on what the people find more important or what they are more attracted to uh, for how they want to describe it. Classical metal, some people say it's gothic metal, um, but when I think about like gothic metal, I think more about like the old Tristania, like Beyond the Veil. It's more uh, mysterious, epic, just like bombastic orchestral metal music, and especially our latest two albums have been quite heavy, so it's, it's definitely symphonic metal, in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, you have already played uh, in the USA and uh, this autumn you are going to tour uh, there again. Uh, do you feel any differences in playing in uh, Europe and uh, in the USA? Yeah, but within Europe it, they also have different countries where it feels totally different to play for. Um, like our bass player said before, one of the most difficult markets for us in Europe is Germany. Germany is big, Germany has many bands, so you got to work hard. And um, in America, People are totally different, but also nice, and I like it that everybody's different all over the world. It makes it more interesting. And uh, America's big, so you always got to do long tours there. And you also notice that the people are different within every state in America. Like it is a little bit within Europe that people are different, but we love our fans from all over the world. And it's it's nice to have, um, for example, the really uh, enthusiastic Brazilians, and then you have a little bit more the reserved Dutch and German people. It's it's a challenge. So. Uh, what is the position of female element in the band? The position? I don't know exactly what you mean with that. Your position as a, as a, a woman? Well, it's, it's five guys and, and one girl. <laughs> there are of course always things which I can't talk to the guys about and vice versa. But we've been touring around for about almost eight years. So it's a little bit like a family and they're more like my brothers. And of course, uh, sometimes I need my, my time off and then they need their time off. So. But we mostly have like a female merchandiser around with whom I can talk about makeup and girly things. <laughs> uh, your last studio recording was launched in uh, 2009 and recently you are touring a lot. Uh, do you spare any time to, to prepare a new uh, material? We have slowly started writing new songs, but uh, now we're doing a lot of festivals. Then we're going to do two or three more tours. And then in the beginning of next year, we're going to finish up the album and going to plan on going to the studio again. So hopefully next year around autumn, there'll be a new Epica album. Uh, your last single, uh, This is the Time, supported uh, Worldwide Fund for Nature. Uh, what is your relationship to, to the environment? Uh, well, very close actually. I love the environment. I love animals. I love nature. I always try my best to... Uh, help others out. Um, I am also a member of an animal protection um, charity. So, uh, and with Worldwide Fund, it was Mark already did once this uh, cycling tour. I think he got about 5,000 euros he collected from, uh, from fans and family members. And so he already had the contact with um, Worldwide Fund for Nature. And uh, he had this idea, Isa wrote this really nice, we call it like bonfire song, you know, you sit at the bonfire. And it was not really a typical Epica song, so we thought, what could we do uh, with it? And then we came with the idea of helping uh, uh, yeah, WWF out, and they loved the idea. So it's always great uh, 
as a musician, people listen to your lyrics and I think especially in the metal scene, it's not just you know the birds and the bees, people really listen to what you have to say, so it's good that you have this position to make other people think. And so far we've had good response, everybody likes the ideas and maybe they'll even become members themselves. Okay, thanks a lot and uh, I wish you a nice uh, performance tonight. Thank you. <laughs>